Hey guys, it's me, the train man himself, and I am back for another video. And today, I'm going to be showing you guys, I don't know how many commands are here, I'm probably going to count them up in editing. But, there are a lot of commands I have here for you guys um, today, so there's a lot of helpful and useful things. And yeah, let's get right into the video. And so today, I'm going to be showing you guys uh, a couple of useful commands. Alright, so I already did the intro and I don't know why I'm repeating myself, but these commands are pretty cool. They're pretty useful. Some of them you probably didn't know when which is pretty cool if you didn't know them because then now you do and yeah let's get right into the video so i have myself uh let's start off by coming over here all right so let's go ahead and flick these two levers i was to go ahead and get myself a fishing rod it's called a boom boy rod do you see how it has a custom name attached to it and i gave myself like one of these by um, splashing a splash potion. So that's what that is. It's pretty cool, but if you're creative, let me show you this. You might see. You can like fly. It's so much fun. This is also going to be on my server. I do hope you guys know that. So. Yeah. It's really cool. I'm gonna be messing around with it a lot. Um, anyway, let's go ahead and make myself a huge jump. That's like a 50 block jump. And I can just yep, go boom perfectly right here. Alright, so if you just turn this off, this does not work anymore. It's just a normal fishing rod. Um, we'll get into the commands at the very end. So now, slash game mode S again. Alright, if we throw that snowball, we're gonna get ourselves some bread. What is this bread called? Holy bread. Oh, what is that supposed to do? So you see this guy in full netherite armor. If you have strength 50, you can break netherite armor in one hit. Alright, I gotta get closer to it. Alright. This bro, this guy won't back up. There you go. One shot. <laughs> you noticed how his armor all broke. So if you just drop that down, just kind of walk up. Gone. All armor's broken. So you won't ever get his armor. But, that's what strength 50 does. So. Also, you can eat the bread if you wanted to, but, you know, you don't got it, you know what I mean? Anyway. Let's move on to this command. So, with leash knots, you can cause somewhat of a cool animation. They're hard to break. If you have an armor stand spinning, which is another command, so this is multiple commands, rotating armor stand that summons in these leash knots wherever it's looking, it makes a really cool animation once you stop it. So, I think that looks really cool. Like, you can make a barrier or, like, a door, and and then maybe you can't get by because there's, like, barrier blocks. Then when, they, or when they're about to disappear, the barrier blocks disappear, and then um, you got a really nice door. I might show that in another video. Oh, yeah, also it does summon in armor stand every single time you activate this, so. The best way to deal with it is with the boom boy rod, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> Anyway, let's go ahead and move on to the next command. Alright, so if I go ahead and give myself an iron sword, which I'm going to get in a second here. Like right about, no, there we go. Okay, so if I drop this, right, it's a perfect, it's facing the correct direction. And if I, don't, if I move around, it's not going to start moving in different directions. That's pretty cool. Now, 
when you see other people on YouTube, right, and they drop their their weapon or whatever or their custom projectile, like I I call it, they they usually are facing the player and going backwards. Now, how I did it here is I'm making it facing the direction I faced in. It's pretty cool. It's pretty easy actually too. Um, also, if you shoot it down here, it's gonna just freeze. Um, and then, wait, give me a second here. Let me go ahead. No, oh, wait, like, I need to do it, like, very low. Like, right there. I think, like, right here. Yeah, see, it sinks into the ground. You can fix that by summoning the armor stand at the player and then just facing it where the player is looking. So, that also does remove a lot of work on the command, but you don't have to do that if you don't want to. Because, like, I can do that, like, that far throw or high throw. So, that's the benefit of that. i go ahead and get myself some holy brute. Does not help with saturation, but, you know. <laughs> Alright, let's move on to the next command. So, let's use another husk. Alright. I, I got these guys for a reason, alright? So, Jitsu Ninjago. Okay, so, if you know what ninjago is in 2020 you're you're a big fan you know what i mean <laughs> or you used to be so i got spinjitsu going it's okay it, it it looks really weird for some reason right now but there we go that looks a lot better so it killed the guy instantly i mean in ninjago they pretty much one tap literally everything so if we go ahead and summon a chicken summon chicken all right let's go ahead and place that air jitsu i killed the chicken in midair let me show you let me go ahead and summon this guy in it's got him <laughs> sniped there we go ourselves a lot of holy bread you know what i mean so yeah you can't control it midair but it is still nonetheless really cool uh still landed on the platform let's go and then you could just kind of do this drop it midair and then you can float up yeah you can you can also do that with the just a normal spin jitsu Thought that was pretty cool so you can give yourself custom named items but there is a way like you have to like drop an item or has to detect you doing something or after the command has worked then it can give you the custom item so wait let me go ahead and give myself some paper i'm getting too far ahead of myself so paper 64 let's go ahead and place this in the anvil if you call it this nin Ja, go. It doesn't matter if they're capital or not, so this would work. So, if I go ahead and come over here, alright, let's go ahead and just. Ooh, it's pretty hard to land on things, but okay, I'm gonna catch myself midair. Yeah, dropping it again. Oh, well, actually, it does kill the paper in midair as well, which is kind of funny, but... Because then you could just infinitely spin jutsu, so I kind of debuff that. And then just throw that. <laughs> well, it does instantly kill the armor stand, and the sword as well. I don't even know if that's going to give me the sword back. Let me go ahead and get that. Alright, so if I was to go air jutsu, get the sword... When I'm just done air, using air jutsu. Oh, that's just the normal spin jutsu, but. Oh, no, I, 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 tried, I tried to do a perfect time. Anyway, I'm getting, I'm getting uh, far ahead of myself again, so let's just get into the commands. Alright. So, let's move to the fishing rod. That's the first one I did, so. Alright. This is the first command you need. It's going to execute any entity 
that is a lightning bolt to summon a ender crystal, and then with the uh, spawn event of crystal explode, so it instantly explodes. All right. If you go over here, it will execute at any entity that is a fishing hook to summon a lightning bolt. So I'm just going to stay on this one again. So if you need to pause the video, go ahead. And there we go. Alright, let's move on to this one right here. This is going to... Okay, let's just go to this one first. So this summons a armor stand named Death. So you can summon a armor stand with a specific name. Or any entity in that... With, with a specific name, so... Yeah, and this one teleports it two blocks above this command block and makes it rotate at the speed of 10. So I don't know how to exactly show that, just like this speed. Now if you want to make it faster, then you do like 25. Yeah. This one actually like fills in those holes like a lot. And it looks cool when this one breaks. Cooler when this one breaks. Oops. Oops. Yeah, so. If you go ahead and break that armor stand, that will all go away. Yeah. So, that's what the rotation right here does. Alright. And this one right here is going to execute at any entity named S to summon a leash knot three blocks away where it's looking. No, like, height thing or anything like that. And this one just makes it one block up from where it's looking. Yeah. So, that's what this means. And still three blocks away. So that's how you get one of these to happen. You see how it's lower than its eyesight? So, that's what that all does. So, and then you could break through this. It will reset it, though. And then you could just do that to the armor stand. And you can make it more thorough by just adding, like, in the middle, like, um, 0.5 and then, like, 1.5 and then, like, negative 0.5 and all that and make it way more thorough. But that's just you, you know what I mean? Alright, let's move on to the murder mystery blade here so if you go ahead and drop it you see how that blade moves and it's pretty, it's pretty cool so what it's going to do over here it's going to kill any entity named iron sword oh yeah also you're going to need the always active repeat and then delay and ticks this must be turned off and then go ahead and then it's going to set um this block right here to air so it's going to set this to an air block then it's going to place a redstone block right there and then this command just puts it back when it's done so that's that's the trigger so you need two set block commands then you need to summon a armor stand with any name just as long as it doesn't interfere with any other ones then it'll give um the player that is tagged m an iron sword again uh, after delay, you can have this at whatever you want. So these are the, just the two set block commands. I already explained how those work. Then right here, you don't have to make it um, to teleport three blocks away from where I'm facing. You could just make it teleport where I am. So this I think is better, so do this instead. What this does is it executes at the nearest player who was tagged M, and then it goes ahead and teleports any entity named C uh, to now where it's standing, uh, facing where the tag player is facing 100 blocks away. So technically it's the most precise way. So now if I was to go ahead and do it, that looks a lot more clean. And if I wanted to, you know, like, go ahead and make it more like a jump, you have to, like, time it perfectly. But that's that's more thorough. Also, it, it does crash in blocks. So let me show you that. 
Yeah, see how it stopped right before hitting that block? Alright, and let's go ahead and look at these. Alright, so this will go ahead and... So once this redstone block is gone, it'll place it in there. I'll go ahead and execute any entity named Z to teleport it 0.4 blocks forward. You can change this to 0.1 to make it slower, or 0.5 to make it faster. You can make it 1 even, or even 2, but that's just way too fast. <laughs> And then this will be true, so it can't go through blocks. So, and then and this just replaces this redstone block here, removes the redstone block in there. I think that's what this one does as well. Yep, this one just kills the armor stand after 50 ticks. Now you can make this longer. So you add like 100 here. Then you're going to have to add 100 here. And then 100 here. All, all of them need to be at 100 then, if you want to play it like that. So let me go ahead and show you. So if I went ahead and come over here, go ahead and do 100. This would also have to be 100. Oh, wait. I don't think I did this one. Yep, there we go. 100. There we go. So now it lasts longer. It'll go for a lot longer. Yeah, it, it did go a lot further than the other one, so, so yeah. <clears throat> oh, that looks, that looks so good, like, when it, like, perfectly crashes into the block. So, if you, like, align yourself, you can do this. Yeah, that looks so cool. <laughs> yeah, so... That's how that works, and to make the thing invisible, you can go ahead and do this. So, well, this one puts a sword in its hand, in its main hand. And then, you come up here, this one will execute any entity named Z to kill any entity that's in the radius of 1, that can't be tagged M, and can't be tagged Z. So, it can't be the murderer or the armor stand. This will just make it invisible. So let's go ahead and get myself a husk, right? Oh wow, baby. Nope, it doesn't reach because it like perfectly. So I made it so it's like a direct hit. So, bro, this, mm, these guys are so annoying. Stop running from me. I will use holy bread. There you go. So it will, it, it like cuts it. Oh yeah, also if it hits a redstone block, then it ch changes how it looks. So it's usually looking like this, and it goes boom. <laughs> it's kind of funny. So, so if you make it crash in a thing, a lot of redstone blocks, this is how it looks. Oh man, didn't do it, but okay. Alright, so, now over here. Now, this one is just for multiple items, so this is the Holy Bread one. So, I'll go ahead and kill any entity named Snowball, or type is a Snowball. So, then you got that, and then it does this. There's a lot of redstone. You don't have to use redstone, you can use commands, but, you know, I don't usually do that. So, as you can see, goes ahead and does that, places these in my inventory. Perfect. And then this just teleports the item in the radius of 2 to the nearest player. You don't have to do that. You can do it to a tag. This has to be here. This clones this dispenser right above here. Now, you can come over here. And this kills any entity that is a splash potion. I'll go ahead and... Uh, so as you could tell, this is getting cloned over here to over here, and then you can go ahead and then teleport that to the player. So if you got yourself a splash potion, you can go ahead and boom. Got myself the boom boy rod. <laughs> and you can also make this so that it triggers that command and turns that on for a certain period of time. But, yeah. So for the actual holy bread, all you do is you drop the bread and then it just gives strength for a certain period of time. 
Oh, this redstone was broken, huh? Pretty sure this uh, works. Yeah, that redstone was broken. Yeah, no wonder. Okay. So let me go ahead and use it. So, what it was supposed to be doing is giving you particles. Yeah, that's what that was supposed to do. You don't have to do that. It's just it's just a cool thing. So, oh man, yeah. Well, that's pretty much it. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I uh, hope you have enjoyed. Actually, let me go ahead and do the spinjitsu and the irjutsu. I haven't showed that off. This is a first on my channel. So this will go ahead. I'll only show off. Um, well, they're super similar, so you just like one thing off. So execute at any entity named Air Jitsu. The quotation marks are necessary. Test for a nearest player who is tagged to Ninja in the radius of two. So it will go ahead and execute at this piece of paper. If it detects me, then this will trigger. So as you can tell, if it detects me, and then it triggers the command. So now, if it was somewhere else, like someone dropped it somewhere else, it would not trigger at me. So this right here goes ahead and kills any entity named Air Jitsu. This will go ahead and make this timer go, which will go ahead and execute the nearest player who's tagged Ninja to teleport them one block up, also rotating them 25 blocks. And it's true, so I can't crash in blocks. So if I go ahead and did it here, you see how I can't crash through it, or like go through it. It's pretty cool. Anyway, and then over here, maybe you can make it so it's like wooden planks that get like uh, filled with air above your head, because I think that's from the show, I don't know. Then this is just particles, the rest are of the, these are just particles, if you look here, particle, particle, if you look in chat, particle, part. No, oh, this, oh, this one's also important right here. Go ahead and execute the nearest player who is tagged ninja to kill any entity that can't be a tagged ninja in the radius of three. And this right here is also a particle. So, and then the same thing for Spinjitsu. All you need to know that's different is that you don't place that one there. Everything else is just the same. And then you just change the item's name. So that's pretty much it. I, did ho I do hope that you enjoyed, um, and I will see you guys in the next video, and which should be coming out pretty soon, right after this one comes out, maybe. Um, I'll see. Alright. Peace.